Today we'll be talking about Ebola. Ebola is a severe, often fatal disease in the human and non-human primates. This also affects monkeys, apes, and chimpanzees. Ebola is a virus that causes hemorrhagic fever, which means you bleed internally and externally while you have a 100 plus degree fever. The incubation period is 2 to 21 days and you have an onset of fever, headache, joint pain, muscle aches, sore throat, weaknesses, and then followed by diarrhea, vomiting, and a stomach pain. Internal bleeding are seen in majority of the cases. The origin of the virus comes from the Ebola River Valley in the Democratic Republic of Congo. It was first noticed in missionary hospitals run by Flemish nuns. A person walked in the hospital and died of what people in the city would later call the red diarrhea. This red diarrhea was caused by massive internal bleeding by Ebola virus. His large and small intestines were deteriorating. The first outbreak occurred in Germany and Yugoslavia when monkeys were exported in 1967. Uh, a CDC team went to Uganda to, fi to try to find the source of the virus, and they were successful. This w virus is a level 4 virus, and the case fatality rate is about 97%. There are barely few people that uh, survive this virus that we know of today. It's incredibly lethal, and villages in Africa, small villages, um, are wiped out and no one knows what happened to them because how fast this virus spreads. Uh, level 2 viruses would be like HIV and level 4 viruses would be Ebola and it would kill you within a week. Uh, this picture on the left is a strain of Ebola. It's part of the fibrous genius to the fi uh, Frio Frio Verdia family. There's uh, different types of species of Ebola and Ultimately, they will kill you. Depending on the species uh, of the strain, it, it will uh, depend on the speed. Alright, so what happens is the virus interferes with the endocyte cells that line the interior surface of blood vessels and that helps coagulate blood. So what happens is, as the virus interferes with these cells, your cells that stop coagulation uh, are deteriorated meaning red blood cells are seeping into your other organs, seeping out of your organs, thus you would be uh, bleeding out. Uh, the blood vessels become damaged and the platelets are unable to coagulate and this sends the uh, victim into a hypovolemic shock and this is the majority cause of death uh, of the Ebola virus. Uh, bats carry this horrific virus and they tr transmit it to mammals like monkeys when bat drops uh, partially in fruit and the pulp to the ground. This causes a chain reaction with deadly results. Uh, there are no actual treatment for Ebola, but steps can be taken to um, stop the bleeding and maintain oxygen and blood level. Uh, for example, uh, they could hook you up with a oxygen tank and um, an IV filled with blood. But the problem is that once you poke a hole in your skin, uh, that hole itself would start bleeding and you wouldn't stop that bleeding from the little hole. Eventually, you probably would die from that little hole that you poked in your skin. And uh, recently, United States Army researchers of the Institute of Infectious Diseases, or MRAD, uh, announced that they c uh, developed a drug that contains uh, small RNA packages that um, can... Uh, dis that can uh, prevent the reproduction of the virus, meaning it stops uh, the RNA sequencing in the Ebola virus.